Welcome to today's 3D print. I have a special printer here. I actually bought this myself on Black Friday. It's a JG Aurora. It's an A3S, which I normally wouldn't consider because it's too small a printer. You're talking i3 print volume. But this one's orange. The whole thing is orange. So I had to get it. Stay tuned. As you can see, it's orange. Even the spool holder is orange. And not only did they give us some sample filament, but it's not white. It's green. Perfect to go with the orange. That's wonderful. Um, so I'm going to pull this out of here. And interestingly, it uses a power supply. Not an internal power supply, but a brick. That's interesting. We have the orange printer and the orange gantry and the orange spool holder. Thank you for including the spool holder. It's all orange. No, actually, the, old, the A5S included a spool holder as well. And of course, we have the goodie box. But just look at this. It's all orange. I love orange. <laughs> the goodie box, we have the Sandus Cruiser 16 gigabyte USB drive, a couple of Allen keys, a spare nozzle, which does look like a standard nozzle, a sheet that's called a 3D printer leveling test card. So this is what you would use to get your gap right. Um, power cord, feels like a decent power cord. 24 volt, 8 amp power supply, all the screws you need to assemble it. A spare set of low profile clips for holding the bed onto the printer. Hopefully they'll actually hold. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't, but that's good because that means I can replace that and use something else if I like. And of course your standard USB, ubiquitous blue USB cable, and the green filament, which I love. I, I love when they include something besides white and black. Ah, don't worry about toxic people. They're delicious, just like anybody else. <laughs> I took the cardboard off the bottom and the, the assembly of this printer is pretty simple. You insert this base into the machine. There are slots that will engage the frame. Four bolts on the bottom if I remember correctly and then attach the spool holder, plug in the wires and you're basically done. So give me a moment while I do that. Ready? The printer is basically assembled. And the um, four bolts hold the frame on just like the old one and uh, my A5 and uh, this is the filament sensor you plug in these three cables down here you bolt your spool holder in and your assembly is basically finished so now we gotta you cannot manually load filament on these machines the closed extruder there's no way you can't squeeze nothing and load it you have to use the on screen to load it so I will do that now stay tuned this is just like my A5 where the silicon dioxide printing plate like ultra base is adhered to the aluminum plate so why did they bother with the blue tape and the clips to hold it in place, and extra clips even, when this is glued on? It doesn't come off. I'm not sure why they did that. We've been chugging along here on the stream with the A3S, my orange printer, Nerys Edition printer, yeah. They didn't intend it that way, but I'm doing it that way. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Good. Okay. So, we printed the cat. Not bad, nice print. And I printed a Marvin that I actually goofed up on. I'm surprised it worked because this Marvin's hollow. I didn't know you could print a hollow Marvin, but it worked and it's clean, really nice print. And now I'm doing a vase. We'll see how that comes out. But overall, I'm happy. It prints just like my A5 and I love my A5 so I'm very pleased with it. I'll keep grinding away at it. I'm gonna see what I can do about quieting it up a little bit. Now that this one's orange, I wanna keep it around where I can see it, which means I want it to be a little quieter. So I'm gonna see about upgrading the fans. I'm gonna see about um, putting some stepper dampers on it. See if I can make this thing a little quieter. But in general, not bad. Good job, JG Aurora. I'm happy. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>